Well, we've arrived in Ripon and we're in a, a car park, but we'll go into that a bit later on in the video near the Sainsbury's. And we're just going to have a, have a look around the town. Where do you want to go? Um, don't know. You get to explore. Charity shop there if you want to explore. Mm. Home bargains, that's always a popular one. There's always tons of charity shops in these little market towns, isn't there? Yeah, she'll go in. I might have a snoop in a bit. Another one there. Two together. It's all right because it's all right where we're parked. It's um, really convenient, isn't it? It is. Fab stuff. Blue Cross. Looks like they've cleared out. That ain't happening no more. And here we are, we're in the, things are opening up now, we're at the square. Oh, that's quite nice. Seen that old building there? Which one, that one? Yeah. Um, Kitty, City, Wakeman, oh, this is where they come on an evening, there's a tradition. And they come and blow a horn in, it, in all four corners of the square. Apparently it's been going on for centuries. Right. Maybe we ought to scope that out later. That's like on rails. See if we can catch the horn blowers. Wakeman, I think they call them, yeah? Yeah. It's where the spoons Oh, are. we found the spoons. I'm not ready for a pint just yet, Dave. No, it's a bit <laughs> early. Maybe later. You're getting an aroma of food. Mm, I am. There's a chip shop nearby. I wonder if there's a, a little bakery somewhere, that's what I like to normally scope out. Go and have a look at cakes in a window. <laughs> Maybe fall in and buy some. Yeah. So we're just having a closer look at this curiosity. A cabman's shelter. You know that cost 200 quid back in the day. Oh, that's a bit of history. It's There's interesting. Quite, quite a few museums. I wonder why as it's well. on trams. Yeah, there is a couple of museums, isn't there? The Ripon Workhouse what? Museum. There's three, I think. There's Workhouse, uh, police, and maybe one I'm not remembering. Prison and Police Museum. Hmm. What do they say when she answers the phone? I don't know. It's for you. Maybe we've even got working call boxes here. I was expecting them to have the phones. Ripped out and uh, uh, you know, a defibrillator put in. It's for you! -hoo. That one's really well ventilated. <laughs> and unfortunately, there's a few more that have been ventilated. Sure, they look it? like they work. Yeah. They do work. They look like they're in working order. So this is telling us about a horn blower on the left and a bellman. And they're going to blow a horn every night of the year. Every Nine four corners of the obelisk. So that's the obelisk there. Just near the fruit and veg stall. And that guy opens the market, I presume. Yeah, he rings the bell on a Thursday at um, 11am. Yeah. To announce opening at market, I think. To formally rip and... Open formally, yeah. Yeah. 
There's pie makers there. Appleton's. Maybe later, eh? Mm, yeah. It goes up way uh, high there, doesn't it, when you stood underneath it? I can't read it. What about top at obelisk? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a high obelisk. It is, isn't it? That's a nice building over there where the tourist information is with the clock. I wonder if that were like a town hall once upon a time. Or it still is. Take a look at this then, Dave. It's yeah. like something me or you would have gone in when we were a baby. Look I think it's that. exactly like what I used to be in. Look. And you. Look at quality on it. It's lovely, isn't it? No, I proper retro. Silver cross, 20 quid. Yeah, be 20 Absolute quid. Absolute bargain. You can just feel that. Well that spent, I think. Yeah. So nice. I haven't seen one of them for years. No. <laughs> Look at suspension on it. <laughs> it creaks. It does. Have you, have you seen anything you like? What's caught my eye is one of those pork and apple pies on the top, top ledge. Yeah. Key should look nice. There's a lot of it, it all looks nice. Mm. I like it when it looks really glazed, personally. And shiny. It's like a magpie mm. effect. Well, I've just purchased a, a new thing. It's uh, what's known as a duck savoury. It were a little bit larger than that. It's like a ball of sausage meat. It's quite different in it. What did you think, Trina? It's quite nice. Unveil the pork and apple pie as well. Set all the pie. Set all the pie. It could be you. It usually is me that eats pies on these videos. Mm, divine. Is it nice? Look what? I'm going to try it. I'll save you a bit. Just a bit. <laughs> well, I did enjoy that pork pie. Very nice. It was so nice think, and warm as well. I think next time we're here, I'll definitely get another. Okay, this is the nearest toilet block to where we parked. And uh, the price of spending a penny is nothing. I think they do lock it up a bit later on at night. And this is the Sainsbury's car park. So that's the upper car park, and we're now going to descend to where we've parked. And oh, somebody's managed to squeeze in a really cheeky little space there. You can see our, our vehicle there. And it's cost, believe it or not, £2. 24 hours. £2 for 24 hours. Absolute bargain. So hopefully we'll uh, have had a reasonably trouble-free night. There were just some kids, I think, in a car. We made a bit of noise towards 2am. Other than that, we got away with it. And there we have it, the workout museum. We just thought we'd come and have a, have a look at it. We're not sure if we want to go in or not. But if we see the outside, we may as well, while we're here. Yeah, so they might have just reopened. This is where people were flogged to death, Katrina. Is it really? It's where the youth were exploited. <laughs> <laughs> For commercial gain. So we've got the, here we are at the Pr Prison and Police Museum. Apparently there's quite a few museums here and you can get a combined ticket. The last one were about a £10 to get in. I'm going to assume this one's the same deal, but there is some interesting things to see. The tour's about an hour at each one, we've found out. But at least we get to see something without going in. A grim cell block. 
which are very interesting. We may do these in the future. Yeah, we decided to go in, into the cathedral, see what's inside it. Just behind this fountain lies the Courthouse Museum. So that's three museums you can do for around £18 um, if you're in the mood to while away a fun afternoon in Ripon. Looks like we just missed the wedding. We're going to have a look inside. Oh, we're in the cathedral, and uh, it's like there's been a wedding fair here. So, uh, everything's a bit chaotic as we're just packing up. But we've been told we can go in the crypt. We've just yeah. got to go through some you now entry signs, so that could lead us anywhere. <laughs> I might leave your ear, Dave, I might lock you in. Yeah. And then behind the curtain, we mentioned as well. It's like we missed the catwalk. What's that? Looks nice. That's some craft pulpit. Mm. It does look good. Very vegan. I'll show you the full effect of it. So it seems I've come for a quick prayer. Dear yeah. God, sometimes I feel no one accepts me. Sometimes I find it hard to accept myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, feel I belong. Thank you that you made me. You know me and you love me. Help me to see I matter to your world and show me how to give the gift you have given me. Amen. I quite like that. I like it how you look depressive at first. <laughs> And then you kind of perked up midway through. Yay, I'm accepted. You can leave a prayer online if you're feeling the need. <laughs> Stained glass windows are one of the best I've ever seen. Large organ. That's the view of where we came in, and then about where the crypt is. And it's almost like there's a second church in it. It's huge. Jerusalem, thus says the Lord. I remember the devotion of your youth, your lovers, and you followed me in the wilderness, in a land not sown. Israel was holy to the Lord. The first fruits of his harvest, all the weight of it, were held guilty. Disaster came upon them, says the Lord. Right, if you're still listening, um, I think we'll go through this crypt. It's been told it's, it's no entry, but we are allowed. We've been authorised. Don't mind, that's just the staircase. It's quite low here, I think that could be some blood from somebody who... We're a bit tall. in there. It's not Bobby, is it? I'm just wondering if it's one of them anchorite holes. Oh, 
Aha. There's a chapel in a chapel, as it says. Some destructions there. Destructions. Probably. 13, 50. Well. It's good. I've never been in anything like this before. And as usual, a security camera. That's where this leads. <laughs> so that's good. Been since seventy two. Just a bit then. We're out. I think I miss my forty. Look all right, it's stood there. You know, yeah. So, what, what, what's today's sermon, Padre? The Lord's Supper. I think I'll go and have my supper instead. You've always been a bit more into this than me. I have, yeah. yeah. A professional. about. But it's interesting. Yeah, I wonder if it should. It looks like it should be lit up, doesn't it? Like, like electric. Yeah. Well, there's some light nice stuff in this cathedral. It's like a church on steroids, isn't it? Summed up for in these places. So we're going to go now see what this canal's about because we've no big. What's the river called? I'm going to clue. River, would it say river Skell or something? Oh, I'm glad you knew. <laughs> Don't know, I've never heard of it though, but I'm sure we'll find out when we get down here. Well, we're here at a fast flowing river scale. We've got a pub there, and uh, we're just crossing it on the bridge. We're at a canal. So we're at the Ripon Canal Basin and you can actually book a boat trip uh, probably in summer because at the minute their boat is well and truly undercover. Yeah, it looks lovely and peaceful. Spotted that up there. It's oh, like, yeah. um, back for ET, isn't it? Do you think that's how it happened during the well, filming of E.T.? I think so, yeah. It's not a BMX though, is it? It looks like a mountain bike. <laughs> no, it must have been a future film. Yeah, well done to the Navigation Pub for placing that there. Well, I think we've seen it all now, or have we? Maybe we should go for a jar in Weatherspoons. Yeah, we've not seen inside there yet, have we? And look out for that guy who blows the horns. Yeah, he's coming. I'm going to see him before we go. We've got to, haven't we? Yep. Yeah, I've never asked him to see if I can have a feel of his big horn. <laughs> well, now that the car park's a bit quieter, there are a couple of things to watch out for. Uh, there's a recycle area there. People are often stuck in that up late night and where that van's approaching for, from. That's very narrow if you're in a, a lengthy motorhome. We got round it in ours, what, through the parking space, no bother though. 
I've seen the elusive horn blower. It's just, it's just getting close now. Oh yeah. It's getting in position. Standing by. What time is it? Oh, it's getting near nine. It's getting near nine. Three minutes to go. In case this makes a real, real racket. Many thanks for watching and why not subscribe to our channel for more adventures. Well, we think that clock's a little fast. As we look at me on watch, we're not quite there yet. It definitely is fast. We've got the horn blower poised with his horn. Heard it. That's more accurate. I suppose you need a good set of lungs. So that's the second horn. So it, it, it's, it's, <laughs> it's going to repeat. Third and fourth. I think he deserves a white pint in weather swimming after this. He does, and he's doing it without the benefit of an umbrella in the rain. Patricio, I'm one of the home blowers. What you've just seen is called the setting of the watch, which is a tradition that comes from quite a long time ago in Griffin. Um, if you have about five, ten minutes, I can tell you something about the history of it. 